Six of uh, Verified Tito's PH. Welcome to uh, another Saturday night hanging out with uh, your favorite Titos along with me, uh, Rav, our Tito in training, and Tito Patrick. <laughs> Good evening, guys. Good evening. All right. Uh, tonight we've got um, two guests, a uh, friend from uh, Ecooter. Uh, the general manager of uh, Ecooter Philippines, and he's going to be telling us about um, well the scooters that they have and um, well you know electric scooters. What's that all about? And then later on, we'll be talking to our friend from Honda Cars Philippines, attorney Louis Soriano, and uh, well a lot of things going on over at Honda aside from their uh, 30th anniversary. Yes. Um, also, they've launched the all new city and the CRV. So we'll look more at those in depth later on. So, uh, guys, guys, uh, uh, good evening. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment later if you uh, if you join our discussion with our guest. And yeah, we have a YouTube channel, so please visit our YouTube channel. You can visit our old episodes in your YouTube channel and in our Facebook page. Uh, sa Facebook page namin, nakikita niyo po lahat uh, mga news about uh, gadgets, cars, and motorcycles. And we have, oh, we also have a uh, website, which is uh, may everyday then may articles, which is Tito pra Patrick ang nagahandal. Tito Patrick? Yes, you can uh, check us out at uh, verify dash Okay. All right, so uh, to uh, jump right into our first uh, topic this morning, uh, topic of electric scooters and... Um, evening. Different... Ay, this evening pala. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, Rob. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's a new mobility solution, diba? Since um, it's been a lot tougher to commute these days yes. uh, because of the pandemic and uh, people are looking for um, alternate ways of uh, getting to and from work. Uh, of course, you've got your conventional, Dubai. you've got your cars, you've got your motorbikes. And if you've noticed, a lot of people are biking. A lot of people are biking on the roads now. And I've noticed a jump in people um, using those uh, stand-up scooters, right? Those uh, yes. motorized uh, electric uh -huh. kick scooters. So um, uh, in relation to that, of course, our first guest tonight, uh, Dustin, uh, GM of eCooter, is going to tell us about the scooters that they offer. So... Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce our first guest for tonight. That's Hello, the... everyone. Nice to meet you. Hi. That's really Saturday night. <laughs> okay. Dustin. Okay. Dustin. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, the e-scooter is an alternative mode of the transportation. There is an eco-flanding, which is a simple, smart, and sport. The Sobera Corporation is the company behind the e-scooter. We, like, we are the exclusive distributor of the e-scooter in the Philippines. Okay, the e-scooter, they have a six mode. The ET1, EH2, E1 Plus, E2 Lite, E2R, and the E2 Max Delivery. The video showing now is the E2 models. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, and the... Uh, we have our two two type of our products, the elastic type products and the lithium battery type products. For the ET1, this is uh, for the E1 and the E1 Plus and the E2 Lite. The E1 Plus carry 2,500 watts motor and the 64 volt 30 ampere battery. The top speed is a 75 kbh the manage can range 120 kilometer which is classic model aerodynamic design radio wind resistance easy to control the price is 150,000 pesos and the e2 light can care care it's carry 2500 watts motor also and uh, is with the 64 volts 20 ampere battery. The top speed is the 75 kph. The mileage can reach 80 km. Compared the E1 Plus, this model has a longer seat, compound tire, double shaft absorber, 
more suitable for the complex road conditions. The price is 95,000 pesos. Wow. Okay. Yes. Uh, if the 75 kph still cannot default for you, we have a racing model, the E2R, which Whoa. carry 4,200 watts and the 64 volt, 42 ampere battery. The top speed is 90 kph. Yes, 90 kph. Wow. The manage, <laughs> yes, Sorry. yes, 90. Mm -hmm. So, and then the manage can reach 100. 40 kilometer, zero to 50 kph only for 4.5 seconds. So it's very fast and powerful. Wow. Well, yeah. Wow. Yeah, when you, when, you, when you start at the stop line, you will be fast than most motorcycles. Mm -hmm. And it's also with CBAs, the combination brink system adjustable rate shock absorber and the tire pressure center uh, sensor sorry the price is 190,000 pesos wow wow yeah wow. all right so the, the cool yeah. thing about these um dustin are they're actually full size scooters right yes. um, they they're not uh you know the the your typical scooters that you find uh, on the in the malls or or they're they're a lot. They've got a lot more capacity than uh, the stand up kick type scooters, right? Yes. You can actually carry a passenger behind you too, right? Yes. This. Yes. Yeah. The it can carry the passenger. Yeah. It's it's correct. Mm. Okay. So, so for this lithium battery type, it can carry can be carried. So it's meaning it will be easy to charging, especially mm -hmm. when living in condominium. If they have a no sucky inner parking, you cannot use the extension from your home to the parking. It's very, it's very crazy. Yeah. Okay. So this is the new battery type products. So the, the, the battery for this is the, uh, the one I took a photo of you where it's a yeah. big, square battery with a handle that fits in the in the seat right yes yes it's a can carry and uh, can can be charging at home but they have a they have a two they have a three kinds uh 60 volt 20 ampere 30 ampere and 40 ampere so depends on the manage manage difference so uh, how about the charging time of these batteries? How many uh, hours or minutes does it to, to have for a the, Okay. Okay. For the 20 ampere, the charging time is 2.5 hours. Okay. And the 30 is the 4 hours. The 40 ampere is 5 hours. So it's a short. It's a, it's, if for a lithium battery, the charging time is short. Then we turn to the lead acid type products. Mm -hmm. It's a charging have a longer, longer charging time more than lead, uh, uh, more than lithium battery. Yes, they have a ET one and the EH two. Uh, ET one can carry one thousand five hundred watts motor and the 72, 72 voltage. 20 ampere battery. The top speed is the 60 kph. The mileage can reach 80 kilometer. Mm -hmm. The price is 55,000. Wow, it's this cheap. Is it. Yeah, it's cheap. <laughs> it, it's, it's a data acid, uh, data acid type, so it's, it's more cheap. And the EH2 also uh, looks bigger, 2,500 watts and the Top speed is the 17 kph, manage 100 kilometer. The price is 71,000 pesos. Oh, 71. So, yeah, 71. So, component the little battery, the charging time for the data is around eight to nine hours. So, but they that, have a, okay. It's like okay, overnight, that's overnight, right? 
Yeah, it's uh, uh yeah, actually you you you, you can use it and uh, just parking overnight charging, yeah. Yeah. So Dustin, how many cycles um uh is the lifespan of let's say the the lead acid uh, lead acid battery models? Yeah, we have a warranty for the one year warranty for the elastic, but actually it's more than one year, like two years or more than two years like that. Depends on the customer how to use it. Yeah. That's right. And ideally, you use it uh, based on the range, right? So if your daily commute is, uh, let's say, average of 10 kilometers going to and from work, 20 kilometers a day, if the range is about yeah. 80 to 100, then you can charge after two or three days, right? Yeah, if you, if you just uh, short, short distance, yeah, you can use it. Mm, around two to three days at a one time for charging yes so there you go there's a really good uh, alternative solution to uh, getting a, a motorized scooter um, yes. mm. what uh, the 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 parts like tires the consumables like that uh, are those conventional size? Those can be aftermarket, like if you need to, yes. you know, if you ever get a puncture or you want to, if your right. tires wear down. Yeah. Yeah. For the, you, you mean the future? Uh, yeah. Futures. Okay. Uh, for the tire, is the tire is a run, uh, run flat tire. So it's meaning even, uh, even the tire pressure is yellow, it's can running. 30 kilometer without the lower speed. Okay. okay. That's the that's the run flat tire. And uh, for the battery, uh for the battery we have a manage battery manager system inside. So it's it's more safety and it can manage the battery like voltage, current, temperature, and the communication. Okay. okay. Um, so now that um, uh, there are a lot more electric hybrids, that sort of thing. Yes. Uh, on your end, is it any easier to get these um, scooters on the road? Like, since it's electric and there isn't any real laws yet enacted uh, for electric vehicles, ideally, you won't need a driver's license to use this on the road, would you? But for now, the e-scooter no need license to driving. But I think I uh, hear they have a uh, depends. For now, they have a something police uh, of the electric in the LTO. They say they, we the electric also need the driver license. Mm -hmm. So for now, it's better you have a helmet and the license when you with the e-scooter using the e-scooter. Yes. Definitely. If you can go uh, 60 to 80 kilometers per hour, you really should wear a helmet. Yes. 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 It's, it's better safe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's better safe. Yeah. Look, Rav. Uh, okay. See, Rav actually rides uh, Vespa, right? Yes. I ride Vespa. He rides yeah. a proper scooter. And, um, yeah. You know, this is uh, this something looks like that a Vespa. <laughs> we should, we should, uh, look into trying it out. We should visit them uh, mm -hmm. sometime soon, Rav. Uh, Dustin, yes. where is your showroom? Uh, our showroom in in Odigas, Mandaluyo. Uh, CSP building is uh, Odigas, Mandaluyo. Uh, that's right across uh, ADB. Yes, that's yes. Uh, our showroom location. All right. You open uh, Monday to Saturday or Monday to Sunday? Uh, Monday to Saturday, eight to five. Eight to a.m. to five p.m. Yes. All right. So uh, we should uh, go visit them sometime. Yes. Uh, Rob and Patrick. Oh, I'm gonna and, try uh, it. Uh, local lineup. Yes. All right. So do you guys uh, have any other have any other questions for uh, Dustin? Um, for me, as well, uh, how about the maintenance of the the e-scooter? So, uh, let's say, is the parts available uh, in your in your dealership? 
Okay. Actually, we have uh, all bots available, so it's no problem of the service. Uh, for the maintenance, uh, for our mo our product uh, motor is using they use the bed to running of it, so it's oil change free. So it's meaning no no need to change oil. So it's maintenance free about that. Yes. Nice, nice. You should buy it, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's yeah, right. Really. Is it is it lighter than my Vespa? I want to try it. I want to yeah. see if it's lighter than my Vespa because I usually bring my Vespa to work or to meetings, my meetings. So yeah, I want to try if it's easy and if if the battery will last. I I live from Commonwealth, so my office is in Makati. Okay. So okay. Uh, if I can bring it back and forth. And then yeah. it's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. How many kilometers is your daily commute? Me? I one way. One way, it's, a, it's around 15 kilometers. One way. Yeah, yeah. It's Sounds by car, cool. it's around one hour 30. But for, for, a, for a motorcycle, it's around 45 minutes. And going back, because I usually go home my ship ends at around 11 or 12 midnight so usually usually i drive 20 minutes going home so yeah but i'm scared to drive my ride my motorcycle at night because there's a lot of trucks and buses running around in edsa <laughs> yeah and i saw uh, your the the colors of the e-scooter is very nice uh, it's bright and i want I, I i you need the bright uh motorcycle to see uh, to see the other drivers to see you <laughs> yeah for good visibility <laughs> for good visibility yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. why I, I wear a lot of reflectors mm -hmm. when i'm riding so yeah i want to i want to try it uh, actually i want to try it. and then neil told me about the e-cooter at first i was thinking e-cooter like the one you're standing no, no, no. He said it's like a motor. Then he showed me the, the uh, full size. It's got proper lights. It's got signals. Yes. And I think you need an app on your phone to actually um, use the the e scooter. So, so you, you pair it with an app. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. It's uh, have a GPS inside, so you can check check locations through the app, and oh. uh, many details of you can you can check the app. Oh, how about, about the, your okay? How about the weight? Is, uh, how does the e scooter weight around it's, 100 kilog kilogram? Oh, it's it's very light, <laughs> yeah, it's very light and easy to control because um, our, mo our motor is a mid motor, so 50 to 50, yeah, it's mm -hmm. easy, to, easy to control. Can it carry me, a big guy like <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> of course. It's of course. You <laughs> Even <laughs> at one person, it's okay. No it's no problem. Yeah, okay. it's no problem. Uh, so let's try Neil, me, and Tito Patrick. <laughs> yeah, we'll come and, we'll come and uh, visit you one of these Saturdays. Uh, yes. Yeah. We'll try it. We'll try it. All right. Well, uh, okay. thanks so much for uh, guesting on our show, Dustin. Is there anything you'd like to add before we let you go? Get back to your Saturday night. Okay, please, please uh, check our Facebook, the uh, Ecuador Philippines. Uh, check out all all detail of the Ecuador there in the uh, Facebook page, uh, Ecuador Philippines. Thank you. All right, Dustin. Have a good Saturday night. Have a very good day. Have a good Saturday. Bye bye. Bye bye. Sorry. Bye. All right, there you go. Ganding, no? So it's a uh, full size. Proper uh, scooter, kulang nalang makina. So you you th you it rides like a proper scooter. Yes. So you can actually so, get it. Kasi kung kaya ng Commonwealth Makati, why not? Diba? Yeah, alam mo ba I tried it and um, it feels the weight is there, and I think okay lang mag Edsa or or C five because it has the power to keep up with the vehicles and. Yeah, and if you need to, you know, avoid something, there's enough power. The torque is there, you know, mm -hmm. the torque that you expect from electric motors are are there. So you get that instant acceleration, mm -hmm. and then it's earth friendly, pa. So, 
You know, walang, 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 hindi, hindi mainit kasi minsan pag sa best. Yeah, at saka hindi ka na magpabucho ka eh. Never. <laughs> yeah, you know, gusto try natin next time. Review yeah, natin. Here we go, let's have a look. Yes. Ayun. So, uh, that's our first guest for the day. Our next guest, uh, of course, our friends from Honda Cars Philippines. I uh, would like to welcome our uh, esteemed guest, Attorney Louis Soriano. Hi, Attorney. Hello. What's in you? How are you? Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much you. for inviting us in your show. So, I just want to say uh, good evening to all of you and to all your viewers and your followers. And uh, good evening to all of you. Thanks for letting us into your home tonight. Ang galing ng bagong normal na, Attorney Louie. <laughs> you don't have to uh, to uh, experience traffic basically if you have an appointment because you know, I just have to use your Zoom, your Microsoft meeting, and it's really oh, good. Basta, basta may internet na maayos. When it's yeah, working, yeah. then it's fine. That's anyway, right. so uh, tonight, Attorney Louis, we're, we're going to be talking about a few things, uh, including uh, the 30th anniversary of uh, Honda Car. Yeah. And I've uh, been with Honda since the very beginning. <laughs> Hello. 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 So, um, yeah, so Honda's been around for uh, 30 years. And I remember when uh, the the first Civics came in, the ano, ano model yun, Rav, yung medyo square pa, hindi pa yung EG, you know? EG hindi pa una before before EG yung ano nga ba yun hindi ko alam ko na EG it was, it was a short <laughs> if, uh, EK EK hindi ba yun de EK yung sumunod EK. dun eh oh EG lang alam ko EG tsaka EK <laughs> basta EK. I, I had a friend who got the first uh, 1.2 DX sedan na ay yung kwadrado hindi hindi, hindi. he got the ano na the 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 EG. Ah, EG na. Oh, oh. And that was pretty cool. You know, I didn't know that it was uh, 1.2. So anyway, uh, Boss Louie, won't you give us uh, an idea of some of the milestones that, um, you know, you guys uh, celebrated and um, what can we, uh, you know, I know you guys came out with a book recently and yeah. um, it's only available to uh, special people. <laughs> <laughs> And you are one of them, basically. <laughs> Can you tell us about this book and uh, what what I haven't seen it yet, eh, but I'm curious. Patingin na, bro. Patingin na book. Uh oh, oh, ipapakita sa yun ni Nilion, no? Pag na receive niya, basically we are now in the process of printing the book, no? And uh, I just want to inform the viewers and your followers that uh, mm. we are celebrating our 30th anniversary in the Philippines, and uh, we are proud as Honda. That we are able to achieve these milestones and uh, honda has been greatly accepted throughout the years and uh, we have we would not have achieved this uh, uh this one without the strong pat patronage of the filipino customer and uh, as uh, neil, neil was saying a while ago uh we are having a commemorative book and uh it's basically content contain the some of the activities of Honda for the past 30 years like uh, launching of our product uh, dealership opening and uh, some of the uh, activities that we did like uh, media test drive and uh, it also contains some of the C, uh, of the CSR activities that we did throughout the 30 years of Honda okay nice yeah. Yeah. nice in fact the EF before e e G. Ah, yun. okay so that's yeah. the square yun yung squarish na ano oh. yeah i had a i had a friend uh kapit bahay ko in qc he had the 1.5 and uh ano yun malabo kasi mata niya eh so walang humps humps walang ano oh seriously walang humps humps yun ano hindi, hindi nagkaroon ng kalampag i don't <laughs> yung yung civic niya <laughs> alam mo alam mo dapat yun din dapat ano yan uh, pa-enroll natin sa Honda Safety Driving Center <laughs> <laughs> de bagay siya yung taga testing ng ano na sa sakyan <laughs> uh, uh, ano yung ano eh BTEC BTEC yo 
Okay. Pag, uh, bumitik, bitik talaga. Bitik. <laughs> bitik. So wait, so 30 years, today is, it's the 20, it's 2020, so it came out, bata pa ako nun. Bata ako pa nun. <laughs> Sanggol pa ako nun. Sanggol pa. <laughs> Pag-graduate ko lang ng college nun, naalala ko. <laughs> oh, kasi, when I, when I got to the Philippines for college, ano lang eh, tatlong yeah. brand lang nandito sa Manila eh, uh, at the time. Uh, uh, what do you remember? What what are those brands? Okay, so there was Mitsu, there was Nissan, <laughs> And um, and of course Honda, okay. Yeah, and 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 Toyota, and then Honda came in. Hmm. I was telling the guys, uh, Tony Louis, I had a cousin who had a company car, na at the time Nissan. Tapos optional yung side mirrors sa uh, passenger <laughs> side. Yeah. So dami ni ba? Ako my my car didn't have a stereo. <laughs> Pero dati na lang ako. At that time, ano, mga optional yung mga yun at that time. Di ba? Yung stereo. Oo. <laughs> di ba si Kia Pride walang seatbelt, no? Di ba when it came out, yung CB5? It didn't have Siyempre, a seatbelt. Kasi at that time, hindi naman requirement yung seatbelt. Kaya lang ba lang nagkaroon ng seatbelt law, di ba? I think that was Uh-oh. only in, uh, gano'n ba yun? 2000. Mga 1990, uh, 2000, late, basically. 2000. Late 90s atay. Because I remember uh, the country I grew up in, Ano na sila eh. They'd already um, implemented a seatbelt law. <laughs> and uh, they were a lot more primitive than we are here. Pero yeah, so seatbelt law. Tapos um, there was a big deal about kung yung kotse mo nung 90s, di ba? Kung Honda. CBI, kung SKD, SKD siya or dito assembled. That's right, yeah. Diba? Pag SKD, medyo socialan ka, di ba? Resale na yun. If you look at that, you pass it with ads, di ba? SKD. Anyway, so... Ako naalala ko nung lumalaki ako pag nakakita ka ng Honda. Ay, sikat ka. Civic, di ba? Pag nakakita ka ng EK. Nung malit, ano pa, talagang ang daming dream car. Siguro kaya mga kasing edad ko ngayon nagbibilihan ng mga ano, tumasulit ang presyo na SIR dahil ng mga kaedad ko <laughs> yung bibili ng SIR. <laughs> Mataas pa rin hanggang ngayon, di ba? Oo, yung, yeah. lalo na yung orange. Yeah. <laughs> Oo, basta original color, di ba? Original color. Na hindi pinutol yung ano. Basta stock siya. Mahal pa yung presyo. Minsan pumapalo ng ano, 800, 900 para sa second hand car. Sabi ko, wow. <laughs> Halos ganun na rin yung presyo niya nung, nung bago siya. Diba? Yung bago siya, di ba? Yeah. <laughs> Ayun na. So anyway, yeah. So uh, there you go. Congratulations on the 30th anniversary. Grabe, no? Ganun na kabilis. So I'm 30 already. <laughs> <laughs> 30 ka na, Neil? Uh, shut up. <laughs> the rest of the Honda team, Attorney Louis, who's watching us tonight. See, see, Che is with us. Um, he's in, he's watching. Sino pa? Si La Colin ba? Sino pa ba nandyan? Si La Colin, si Laika ba? Hi, Laika. Laika ba? Good evening, guys. Good evening. So, this is a late Saturday night. So, recently, uh, Honda Cars Philippines launched their, um, all new city and the new CRV. So, uh, Rav, would you like to uh, show us uh, some photos of uh, the new vehicles that they just recently launched? Yep, I'm showing it right now. There you, you are. So, this is we're looking at the video of the the new city. So, yeah, sobrang laki ng pinagbago ng new city para sa pogi. Uh, it's a lot different from before kasi may city yung kaibigan ko at na-drive ko na ibang-iba na siya iba na itsura niya kaysa noon sobrang pogi <laughs> oh, parang lumaki pa siya yan oh. Oh, para oh. siyang naging civic may baby civic na siya <laughs> <laughs> Yun. Yun. Very nice. 
Are you ready? Sabi niya. Are you ready? <laughs> ready to rule. Ayan. So, um, uh, Attorney Louis, can you tell us? Oh, si Boom. Sorry. Bakit napunta si Boom? <laughs> this is uh this is a big a big deal for you because uh, your city was always a really good seller um yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about this uh, all-new Honda City, Attorney Louie? Yeah, thank you very much. No? Uh, we just have launched our all-new Honda City last uh, October 22. And uh, this is one of the, this is basically the HCPI's best-selling model for years. And uh, with the introduction of this new fifth-generation city, we believe that Honda City will continue to, uh, the Honda no? City will continue its strong presence in the, it's a very competitive market, the B segment category. And we know that with its new exterior design and new advanced feature, you know, the Honda will uh, try to increase its market share in this category. So that's uh, the city. Uh, sabi nga ni, ano kanina ni Rob, napakaganda nung city. Talaga namang napakaganda. Di ba? Napakaganda. New exterior and then advanced feature. So yun. Tapos ano siya, medyo talagang ano, uh, it, uh, it's bigger, it's wider, and basically it's uh, also, it was also lowered uh, to make it more sporty. No? So talagang ano, uh, and uh, if you're going to see the, ano, like we're going to experience yung kanyang uh, pagpumasok kahit it's really spacious. No? In fact, uh, nung princess nga ni, ano yan, ni Boom, Nung naupo siya, talagang napaka, ano, napakaluwag. So, yun yung uh, city. No? Okay. So, kasi kinala din po ang Honda City sa tipid. So, mas matipid po ba itong ngayong, itong latest? Uh, uh, wala pa kaming uh, actual test. Basically, if you will efficient naman itong city na ito, but what we're going to do is we're going to conduct if you will efficient si test no? to check really and then the, if we have that result already we're going to publish it not to uh, inform the public how you will appreciate this one okay. wala pa siyang, ano. so we're, we're going to do a you know a uh, fuel efficiency test no? nice yeah. kasi lahat to ng kilala kong may honda city na naging sinasabi sa akin no. ang tipid oh, yeah. niya sabi niya ang tipid uh, <laughs> Actually, it improved uh, yung kanyang ano, yung engine basically. It improved siya, no? Mm-hmm. To make it more powerful and uh, of course not to sacrifice yung fuel efficiency niya, no? So mm-hmm. so ganun. So ang ang presumption namin dito dahil sa improvement ng uh, engine eh magiging fuel efficient pa lalo itong city na ito. Yeah. And since lower din siya, so talagang nagka-cut na siya sa hangin. Wag lang ma-traffic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's siya, right? It's yeah. lower, lower 10 millimeter uh, lower. That's lower. right, it's lower, yeah. So yeah, medyo mas mati, mas ma ano siya sa aerodynamic, mas aerodynamic siya tingnan ngayon compared sa dati. Kaya parang excited daw makita yung fuel economy kasi yeah. uh City Chaka Jazz is well known for fuel efficiency. That's right. Kasi, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Ayun. So, uh, uh, Attorney Louis, ano siya? CVT po, right? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, CVT. so uh, that's always been uh, a good uh, contributing factor sa fuel economy ng, uh, ng Honda is their CVT transmission, CVT. I believe, yeah. yeah. Pero meron siyang available na, ano din, na manual transmission. Manual, okay. Uh, yeah. Ay, yun, hindi uh, pa nawawala. Yun, okay. Uh, meron, meron pa rin. Uh, Siyempre, meron pa rin mga customer ng gusto man- manual, di ba? So, oh, okay. let us not uh, no, deprive them of that opportunity to own a manual uh, transmission. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when, ano, when automatic was just an option? Ngayon, everybody's buying automatics, no? Yeah, mm-hmm. no? Yeah, pinapakita ni, ano, ni Boom. Napakalood ka rin. Ganda. Sobrang ibang-iba na siya kaysa laking departure dun sa 
Para siyang tumanda na. <laughs> <laughs> Wag, bata pa. <laughs> bata pa rin. <laughs> nag-evolve. Nag-evolve na lang. Sobrang... Kasi our family also had, uh, what they call this, a mobilio. So we'll Uh-oh. fill up that Uh-oh. mobilio Uh-oh. then. Uh, lalo pag sumipa yung VTEC. Ay, nako. Yeah. <laughs> Saan po manufactured tong, ano um, Honda City? Turnilu? Sa Thailand. Sa, okay. ano, sa Thailand na sa, sa, sa Thailand na minamanufacture yan. Um, <coughs> Any chance that it might be manufactured locally? Yes. Uh, hindi pa namin masabi yan eh. No? So basically, we could not say that at this moment. And uh, wala pang ganong discussion, basically. I guess we'll have to find out how well it yeah. sells muna, no? to, right. to begin with. Yeah, But that, that'll be a really great thing. Kasi yung gawa naman natin dito is really good. The standards uh, of the Hondas that are manufactured locally are actually pretty top-notch. Yeah. Yeah. Because I I got to take part in um, uh, an unofficial uh, fuel economy run with a petroleum company from uh, Ilocos to uh, to Matnog. And I was able, on a really full tank, able to go all the way to uh, uh, the port, make a U-turn, tapos 10 kilometers bago na ubusan ng gasolina from uh, Bangui in uh, Ilocos. So that shows you how economical it is. Yung nag-zero na yung range. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nagdadasal ka na hindi mo matay. Umabot pa ako ng matnog, the port of matnog. And, and you know, the amazing thing was yung yung last the, the last generation was naka 60 ako and I was able to coax 60 kilometers with the CVT at 1,600 RPMs. So, ang galing nung programming nung, nung CVT and, and just the engine management that I was able to, to drive at that speed at a very low RPM, uh, allowing us to extend the full tank of uh, the, the city from Ilocos to Sorsogon to Matnog Port in uh, Bicol, which is actually pretty cool. I'd like to try it with this new car. <laughs> Pero ano yun, it was um, hypermiling, so we didn't have the aircon on. We just, you know, yeah. talagang extreme. Yeah. You know, yeah. of course, the, the, the good thing about knowing that your car can do that under extreme conditions means that every, any little um, fuel economy measure that you take will also add or mean more to the fuel economy of your daily drive, diba. Um, you don't have to go extreme. You don't have to turn off your air con. But uh, little things like lifting yeah. off the gas or or wag murara trate. And just, you know, like a lot of Honda cars now have that um, echo mode and the echo coaching lights. But the green sha di matipid ka. And uh, it, it oh. does so much. Malaking bag yon, di ba? Pag yung dahon na green, yun, tipid ka. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there, there are models without the echo mode, but it has the echo coaching. So if you just let that green light stay on, it means you're actually doing a good job of uh, of saving some gas, di ba? Yeah, yun so, na uh, nagong titignan eh. Pagka, titipid pa, nagtitipid. <laughs> oh. So, um, Tony Louis, ilang variants yung pinasok yung uh, Honda City na available sa local market? Meron kaming apat na bar yan, yung uh, 1.5 SMT, no? yung 1.5 uh, SCBT, tapos yung DCBT, tapos yung high-end yung we call it uh, 1.5 RSCBT, yung RS. Yan. Yung RS po ba turbo na? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maraming ano, mga Honda enthusiasts. <laughs> <laughs> Yan ang tatanungin ka agad. Eh. Tatanungin mo kung bakit ano, hindi dinala rito yung 1.0 liter engine na turbo. <laughs> Opo, bakit hindi pa dinala rito? <laughs> Maraming baka... factor kasi yun. Maraming factor na kinukonsider yan. Basically, no, yung local regulation, tapos yung mga conditions and everything, tapos yung demand ng market. So maraming factor. So basically, based on that consideration, we decided not to uh, to bring in the 
uh, zero liter engine. So is that a no or a not yet? Mm, not yet. Uh, uh, <laughs> so sabi sabi ni Attorney Louis demand draft. Uh, 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 so kailangan uh, natin mag-create ng na, uh, demand so para na nanonood, demand para kayo. Uh, para isipin ni Honda na siguro dapat ipasok na natin yung one liter. Yeah, pasok diba? naman. <laughs> kami naman eh we always study that, that those those possibilities. Pag kami may op may ano, may opportunity Unity, eh, talaga naman, ano, we're going to bring those kind of technology naman dito sa Pilipinas. Oh, nga. Yeah, so, right now, maghihintay uh, muna ako. Wait and see muna, magdasal <laughs> muna kayo ng matindi, Rav. <laughs> Magdadasal ako talaga na dumating yan. <laughs> Kasi meron mo, matipid na, tapos naka, nakaturbo ka pa, di ba? Kung gusto mo magtipid, pwede. Kung gusto mo rumatrat, pwede, di ba? <laughs> Well, the, the, the interesting thing about that kind of uh, engine, naman, kasi is if you're in the operating range where the turbo is not working, you're just essentially a one liter, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But you know what? So let's let's see. Maybe Honda will um will uh, grant your Christmas wish or <laughs> maybe something in the future. It, it's it's just you know they've yeah. it's there. It's just Talang a matter of bringing it in. Or, kailan, kailan Pasko yan, Anong year? Okay. Anong year kaya? Ano ba ang lifespan sa sakyan eh, di ba? Marami pang... <laughs> di ba, baka, baka, baka sa birthday ko sa May. Pwede na siguro. Ang <laughs> <laughs> lapit na nun. Ah. <laughs> uh, pwede. Kasi magpapas ko na sa ano, isang buwan na lang. Pas ko na, That's eh. a little bit close, Rav. Eh, di ba kalaya mo, di ba itong pandemic, what? We went into lockdown in March, March, and wow, look where we are. It's November tomorrow. Halloween. Ah, diba? November na t- tomorrow. Oh, November na tomorrow. Oh, my Halloween. God. Diba? So it's so fast. <laughs> Grabe. Kaya ba, Tony Louie, work from home kayo? Oh, Ito, starting uh, ba? May. No? Pero ano, uh, hindi... La- hindi lahat kasi yung mga nasa Santa Rosa, yung Santa Rosa base, no? like yung aming support group like accounting, finance, IT, mm-hmm. the logistics of course, no? and uh, the spare parts, warehouse. So they report to Santa Rosa. And then in order for us to, you know, in order for us to, uh, no, to address the concern on, of COVID, uh, ginawa namin working arrangement two weeks, two weeks, no? So you have to work for two weeks and then report. Kind of, uh, you work from home two weeks and then you report to Santa Rosa for two weeks. No? Pero yung aming ano, mga associates namin sa MMO, uh, since the pandemic, I, they are uh, working from home. Nice. So yun yung working arrangement namin. Very nice. All right. So, um, of course... Aside from the Honda City, you guys uh, uh, did a double double feature, <laughs> double feature. <laughs> when you launched. It was uh, you also launched the the new CRV, which is um, you know, I wasn't expecting uh, there would be another v- uh, uh, a new CRV out so soon. Can you tell us a little bit about that, Tony Louis? Yeah. Yung CRV, we also launched it in October 22, and uh, this is also another important model for HCPI. No, and uh, you know, PCRB is uh, our uh, first SUV and currently the only model offered with a diesel engine combined with the seven seater capacity. And uh, this uh, fifth generation CRB has been its best selling crossover. This CRB has been a best selling crossover SUV in the Philippines since introduction in 2017. So, we uh, with this uh, repressed CRB. Uh, we aim to maintain that uh, this car is going to be the best-selling crossover SUV in the Philippines. Maganda rin yung feature niya. Basically, may mga advanced and sophisticated features siya ngayon. So, yan. Yung bagong CRV. Yan. Gusto ko yung wireless charging niya. Ang ganda. Yeah. Hindi ako. Gusto ko yung diesel. Kasi nung nasa States ako, gamit ko din dun si RV tapos nung narinig kong i-release dito sa Pilipinas yung diesel na si RV na excited ako tapos 7-seater pa <laughs> sobrang 
Parang parang tito na mag-isip, no? Diba? Parang dito. Alam mo mga tito tayo rin. Tito in training. Tito in training yan. Tito in training po. Bata lang ng konti yan. Ilang paligo lang yung lugi dyan sa pagiging tito natin. Akala po, I thought we are all titos here. Hindi pala. Mukha ko lang ang tito. Hmm. Si si Tito Patrick, Tito si Tito Neil. <laughs> so, yeah. so yun, ang ganda nung CRV, it's a, it's a, is yung ni-launch nyo, is that a new color? Yeah. Pogi ng pagka-blue. Konti lang yung blue sa kalsada ngayon eh, no? It's yeah. not a very common color uh, with uh, a lot of car companies. Yeah. Marami And, silver, uh, chaka, white uh, color, So it's nice to see uh, a different shade of blue. Now, this Honda CRV is a lot more high tech, no? Yes. With uh, yes. Honda Sensing. Yeah. We uh, at the time, you know, offer lang namin yung Honda Sensing doon sa sa high bar yan. Pero ngayon, ay you know, offer na rin namin sa doon sa we, we call it uh how they call that. Nakalimutan uh, ko yung pangalan ng variant na yun. <laughs> But anyway, uh uh That is also one of the, no, the picture, no, the Honda Sensing. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's no. very high tech. I, I think one yeah. of my favorite features of Honda Sensing is the adaptive cruise control. Lalo na dito sa Pilipinas, kasi hindi marunong magmaintain ng speed ang mga tao sa expressway. <laughs> So when you're on the expressway, you, di ba, maximum is 100. So you want to be doing 100. Jeez. Tapos yung mga iba nasa fast lane. Totoo. Tapos nasa 90 or 80. If yung mga alanganin, so syempre abutan mo, di ba? So the, I, the, the best thing about uh, cruise control, uh, adaptive cruise control, is it will adjust its speed to the car in front of you, which is very convenient, di ba? Kasi um, the old school, well, old school na yung lumang cruise control, eh, no? yung... Uh, kailangan mo pumreno to disengage. This one will adjust its speed to the car in front of you. And, you know, it's it's great that it's finally available in more cars now. And um, it's convenient. Kasi pag mabagal yung nasa harap mo, then you're, you just set the distance, di ba? And then uh, you set your speed. And then when you come up on a car that's uh, slightly slower than you, then uh, based on the distance, mag adjust siya. Mm. So... That's that's really great. Hindi ka na magugulat na biglang ba't lumalaki yung kotse sa So that's really great. I mean, Honda Sensing's got a lot of uh, other features, of course. But for me, that's the really standout feature. Um, and I noticed ano, a lot of your top-end models now have uh, those LED lights that uh, look right. a lot like yeah. uh, the Accord and the Civic Turbo, no? Civic Turbo. Yeah, no, yung ganun-ganun. Ano tawag yeah. doon? Ganun-ganun. Ano, daylight? Day, yun, ganun-ganun. 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 LED, LED. LED ka, pero yun parang marami. Maraming LED. LED headlamp. Yeah. Kasi diba may LED na bumbilya lang. Hindi, yung maraming LED. LED headlamp. <laughs> Kasi yung LED bulb, tulad yung kinabit ko sa sakyang ko, bulb lang siya. Pero yan, uh-huh. yan talaga, headlamp talaga na hiwa-hiwala yung uh-huh. ano. Karamihan sa mga bagay. Those are LEDs, no? Yeah. Hindi, maganda siya sa ano, hindi siya nakakasilaw pag nakasalubong mo. Pero uh-huh. pagka nasa loob, ikaw nagda-drive, sobrang liwanag na ano. Yun. So, matipid siya sa kuryente, ibig sabihin. Kasi LED niya. Eh. Uh-huh. Oo. <laughs> Well, I like the ano the wireless charging feature kasi 'di ba, hindi mo na kailangan magsaksak ng kable. And paano kung nagwe-waze ka? Paano mo lang yung phone mo, ha? Paano mo po nagwe-waze ka? Ano nga pala nasa ano na, nasa sa head unit na yung Oo. So, so, but, but you still have to plug it in. Pero in other occasions where, you know, you just put your phone down, at least nagcha-charge siya if you're on Spotify or or something like that. Pero syempre, kinikita na lang ng radio, di ba? 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, nga pala, radyo. So, sorry naman. Hindi. <laughs> <laughs> diba? Alam sa Spotify too, di ba? Ang isa nakakalimutan mo, naka-Spotify ka, naglalobat na pala phone mo. So, at mm. least ito, you just put it down and you don't have to think about it. Of course, your phone has to have wireless charging capability for mm. that to work, di ba? Pwede dyan 3310. Ha? 3310. <laughs> Oh, ano mo doon? Hindi lang mag-charge. <laughs> so, yun. So, oh, bang, good stuff. Ang daming, ano, you know, daming, ang so, daming feature, no? Ang feature. Yeah. Pati yung radar, astig yung radar na, ano, parang, yung buong harap is parang may radar. So, Kasama siya sa Honda Sensing yun, eh. Oo. Part ng Honda Sensing yun. Ayun, may, may And the, the cameras, the cameras uh, all around, that's, that's, ano, galing, di ba? You can May see all the blinds. Blind. Wala nang blinds pa. Nag-hello na si, ano, si Miss Laika. Hi. Hello, Miss Laika. Hi, Miss Laika. Hi, Laika. Hi, Laika. Hi, Laika. Hi, Laika. si Miss Laika. Yan. Hello, Laika. Uh, good evening. <laughs> Go see you. <laughs> yes. You All right. Know. Well, uh, do you guys have any questions for Attorney Louis? I mean, I'm pretty happy with the. Uh, how much is the the new CRV coming out to now, uh, Attorney Louis? Nakalimutan ko na yung preso. Makaiba yung masabi ko rito. It's available na man online. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So you still retain a gasoline variant. The, the two liter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because there's a market, but no, there's a market that still want the gasoline. Oh, oh. yes, that's right. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, available colors. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. In color, yeah. Ignite red. You want cosmic, cosmic blue? blue. Yeah. Yeah. Gusto ko yung cosmic blue. Oh, oh. Spreading, you know. Yun ang gusto kong trabaho sa car company, yung taga-isip ng pangalan ng kulay. <laughs> di ba? Mahirap <laughs> yun. Yung yun. interesting, di ba? Yung, yung pangalan. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> naman pwede blue lang, di ba? Blue. <laughs> so, so di ba, isang, isang grupo yan, umupo. Siguro nag-inuman, no? <laughs> <laughs> Para na, gagawin mas interesting yung pangalan. Depende yan kung ano yung ano niya. Anong environment sa nag-iisip. Di ba? <laughs> Pero galing yung nakakatawa because they're uh-huh. very creative with the uh, with names of the colors, di ba? Cosmic blue. Cosmic blue metallic, yeah, di ba? Astig yun. Astig. I know. Anyways. Uh, questions, boys? To uh, Tito Attorney Luis Ariano. <laughs> si Tito Patrick, may question. Yeah. Uh, siyang question ng attorney. Kilala ka rin na yung civics uh, Malaking trunk space. Ay, yung city pala. Malaking trunk space. Ganun pa rin yung bago? Hello? Uh, ay, sabi niya po, ano, kung yung city daw po ay kilalang kilala sa trunk space. Ganun pa rin po ba daw yung trunk space ng news on the city? Hello? Hello? Ay, Hello? attorney Louie? Attorney? Narinig yeah, po. Hello. Hello, hello, yan. Oh, no, yun, yan. Yeah. Hello? Ulitin mo, Patrick. Hello? <laughs> so, uh, kilala, sorry, Patrick. Yeah. Oh, no. Kilala kasi yung previous city sa malaking trunk space. Ganun pa rin yung bago? Malaki pa rin? Ganun yeah, ba? ganun din. Na-maintain yung ano niya, yung, uh, yung spacious na ano niya, trunk. Na-maintain pa rin siya. Basically, ganun pa rin siya. Thank you, Tony. Yan, importante yan sa mga, ano, importante sa mga... Oh, importante yun. Uh, okay, I'm uh, wondering how you guys, yung mga engineer ng Honda, no, nakaka-create ng space. ba? Diba? Parang, you know, you, you can have a bunch of cars in the same category, uh, more or less, you know, give or take uh, 10-15 millimeters, pero yung mga engineer sa Honda na parang napapaluwag nila ng sagad-sagaran yung mga yeah. interior na wako. Paano nila may na-magic, no? 
dagdag bawal na. Hmm. <laughs> Tapos nakita ko yung legroom ng, ng city match lumapad. Pero wala lumapad. masyadong, wala <coughs> masyadong changes. Lumapad na onte pero yung legroom tumaas din. So, parang ano nagawa ng mga engineer na same, same footprint pero na, na-adjust na na onti yung mga ano. Lupit eh. <laughs> Lupit na mga engineer. <laughs> Mad so, pare. Alam mo yung ayaw mong subject, algebra, yan yun. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya ako nag-director na lang. Eh. Ayoko na mag-ibat pa rin. Ayun. Anyway, so uh, that's really awesome. So um, the new Honda CRV and the all new city, they're already available, not Ernie Louis. Yeah, they are all av- available no? starting October 23. So uh, I would like to invite all your viewers or your followers to please visit our dealership no? and see how comfortable the city is and uh, how. How so that you can appreciate now how are these models are really good. Are so you, you know, Honda has uh, Yun. so check it out. And the Honda has launched their virtual showroom online. Uh, you can just head on over to their website and uh, check it out. Pero may mga protocols din kayo, attorney Louis, no, for uh, for the GCQ for uh, when people. Visit your showrooms. Yeah, yeah. We, we we follow basically what are the requirements of the government, no? Like like for instance, if uh, ngayon uh, hindi pa hundred percent operational, no? So whatever is the requirement of the government, we have to comply with that, no? So yun. Uh, but we make sure na ano naman siya, na safe ang uh, ating mga customer whenever they visit any of the dealership. But uh, uh, we encourage them also if they don't want to, uh, if they are still hesitant to visit the dealership, they could actually visit our, our website. And we have, as you said a while ago, we have the virtual showroom. And you could already see there and review our models. No? And uh, not only that, no, if you want to make a reservation, you could do that also. And uh, I just want to announce also that we have a partnership with the SADA already. We're in the... Uh, customer may buy a uh, coupon. We call it a reservation reservation coupon from the Sada, and you could this you could use this one in deserving a car in any of our uh, dealership nationwide. No? So, yun, yun mga bagong uh, gimmick namin ngayon. No? So hindi mo na kailangan pumunta sa dealership. Pwede kang bumili sa Lazada ng reservation coupon. Tapos ruin mo add to cart. <laughs> at at to cart. <laughs> Kasama po ba sa 11-11? Yeah, yung cube. <laughs> yung cube po <pod> lang. <laughs> Wala na. Pero, pero hindi lang yun. We're not only offering the uh, reservation coupon. We're also offering some ano, uh, spare parts no? doon sa, ano, sa Lazada. So meron din mga spare parts kami inu-offer doon. No? Mga accessories din. Meron din kami inu-offer. No? Lalong-lalo na yung mga baka tulad ni Fabian, na mahilig sa accessories. No? Kung gusto mong i-accessorize yung kotse mo, ino-offer din namin yung mga accessories sa... sa oh, ayan, Lazada. no? Ayan, Lazada. Lazada. Pwede ka na mag, ano, yung reservation voucher. Sakto, 11-11, no? So, tama-tama. 11-11. 11-11. You know, check it now. Oh, reservation vouchers at 30 pesos only. Yeah. Mm. Okay to. <laughs> okay to. Mag-ano tayo? Mag- mag- yeah, mag- diba? Mag- oh, yeah, no. Yeah. 30, 30, 30 pesos reservation yeah. voucher. Yeah. Hintayin ko yung ano, Chris, yung birthday gift sa akin ni Attorney Louie. Yun yung hinihiling ko. Yung one acre. Hintayin ko yun. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. You know, Honda hasn't disappointed, I mean, with yes. with uh, all their offerings. And if they decide to throw that in there, it's just a really, really great bonus, diba? Right? But uh, meanwhile, so you've got some great models. Do check out their website and their virtual showroom. If you don't then uh, check out uh, the showroom itself. You know, just follow the protocols. I believe maybe uh, you might have to make a reservation or something and go. Just make sure it's, it's, it's safe. They guarantee that you will be safe. So, uh 
check it out. CRV Honda City. Attorney Louie, thank you for uh, joining us tonight. It was a privilege having you over. Over yeah, thank in Sabahay. Thank Thanks for letting us into your house. Pasko now, I can see your Christmas lights behind you. Kita mo yan. Pasko, Pasko na. Ayan, <laughs> see. Attorney, thank you, thank you po. At, uh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well. Salamat, salamat. Thank you, sir. We'll see you soon. Okay, bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Ayun. Wow, okay, so boys, wow. Uh, Honda CRV, all new Honda City, exciting new things. Um, the auto industry is really alive this year, despite the pandemic, no? Parang nag-uunahan pa sila mag-launch ng ano. <laughs> no, sasakyan. I wasn't expecting this many launches this year, uh, mm. to be honest. But sobrang, sobrang galing na, you know, that they're pushing forward. And, and people are buying cars. Tama. I think lalo na ngayong pandemic, people would rather have their own car. Have their own cars and be safe mm. than take public transportation, di ba? And I think yung mga nag yung mga nagse-second thought bumili ng kotse dati. 'Di ba? Parang din eh magmagaano na lang ako, magga-grab na lang ako or or uh, I can I can take a cab, I can take a taxi. And I think this is one of those the pandemic really pushed people na, "De bibili na." You know, meron naman akong pambili. So or and the banks are are doing their part there. They're um giving really great deals to people who want to buy cars, 'di ba? So, naging affordable na. And I think a lot of people now have um, spending money, na, spending power, better spending power, especially with the uh, jobs that are out there. So, katuwa. So, tingin ko rin, nakatipid din yung, ano kasi hindi masyado lumalabas, hindi kumakay, walang outing, di ba? Walang traffic masyado. Walang you traffic know, masyado. Masyado. I can leave my house in the morning. <laughs> Dati, if I leave, I have to leave before 5.15, Kasi matatraffic na ako, but now there's not much traffic going out. So, <laughs> um, much as I'd like normal to return, medyo gusto ko yung hindi masyado traffic. <laughs> Honestly. <clears throat> ako din, laki na natitipid ko kasi work from home. Hindi na ako nagpupunta ng office. So, lahat oh, kami oh. lang. And, wala, parking, tapos gas, hindi nagagastos yung, ano, yung oh, gas. Bilo oh. mo yung pickup ko, three months ng full tank. Laging three months na yung full tank niya. Compared dati na ilang linggo lang full tank. <laughs> Oo. At sa ay mga launching ngayon, hindi mo na kailangan pumunta sa hotel. Oo, di ba? Well, you know what? I, I miss the buffets. I miss yung mga buffet. I miss, uh, I miss the sushi. I miss the desserts. Di ba? I mean, you know, that's the whole part of the, the whole... Um, pomp and pageantry of the launch, yung the yeah. unveil, dramatic unveil, di ba? So that, that, yung, that's what I miss. Namiss ko yung raffles. Christmas <laughs> 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 party. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I do. That's, and that's, you know, well, at least, di ba, we, we appreciate those things because we miss it and we don't take it for granted. So, you know, so it's always nice to be able to take part in those things. Okay, yeah. You know, speaking of uh, raffles, mm-hmm. um, Osmo uh, DJI just launched the new Osmo uh, Pocket 2 or just Pocket is it? They, tinanggal natin yung Osmo eh. Pocket 2 na lang eh, no? DJI Pocket 2 which is a uh, uh, little gimbal camera. Uh, grabe, no? So, um, the tech companies are continuing uh, the release of uh, New gear this year, mm. a lot of, like Apple's come out with the what the twelve. Um, Nvidia came out with their RTX uh, thirty C thirties, uh, right? Yes, and AMD released. AMD their... has come out with the new Radeon three D cards mm-hmm. and their uh, third generation uh, Ryzen processors, diba? Mm. So, so speaking of the DJI Osmo, it's a Ay, packet too. Yun. So, yeah. Oh Kaya, my God. Tayo, ginagamit natin sa mga shoot ito. Eh. Kaya, so, game changer siya ngayon. So it doesn't look a lot different than the one we have, diba? The, the Osmo one. But it's got so many better features, diba? Bigger sensor. May zoom siya. 
na zoom nama. And may yung 4K may, 60. Wow. Pwede, pwede mo nang saksakan ng microphone. Yeah, it comes it comes with its own wireless microphone. Yeah. If you yeah. get the ano yan, yung ibang bundle, di ba? Mm. And yung four eh, four microphones na siya, ayan oh, stereo audio. So hindi na siya tulad dati na dalawa lang. So if you nagna-narrate ka while you're shooting and it's pointed away from you, Pwede. Nakagaya. Pwede, di ba? Dati kasi, you have to be using it in sort of selfie mode, right? Para para magamit lang siya. Oo. Tsaka kaya, mas wider yung field of view niya eh. Oo. Oh, so kaya, nakaka-excite din eh. Oo. Oh, <laughs> so it's got a wider kaya, field of view. Tapos meron din siyang attachment na wide attachment, angle. Oh, mas mas, oh, mas oh. paano din yung attachment niya ngayon. Yung... Mas, mas nakasentro. Oo. Oh, oh, okay. Because I, I bought one of the aftermarket um wide angle attachment lenses na pag hindi mo na i-attach ng maganda mm. y- malabo yung footage mo and meron din siya na detect na rin niya diba dati kasi pag naka-attach ka pag enough mo minsan sasagi sa ano pag nagtinago oh so, when when it does its uh, cer- yung ceremonies niya pag on mo <laughs> pero ngayon pag on mo pag on mo ay pag off mo itatag eh, alam niya nyang meron so hindi niya siya yeah tatama. hindi na siya harap dun sa ano hindi tatama so uh-huh. yeah it's really exciting i mean all these things like i i want one of these even if i've got one of the older ones pero the more i watch this video parang the more i want one <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's 27k yung ano niya yung uh, ano yan creator creator ano ba yan? creator Bundle. combo, oh, combo. Tapos, tapos yung 19,000 pag uh, yung ordinary Osmo yung lang. Ano lang no? yeah. Yeah. Sobrang para sa akin din laking takin tulong to lalo na sa mga ginagawa kong projects. Siya yung wide angle camera ko lagi. So sobrang baka baka tingnan natin. <laughs> baka mamaya may pa-promo, may, may raffle ngayong Christmas. <laughs> oh nga. Well, you know what um Sulit din naman yan. I mean, I, the 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 first, the Osmo Pocket, yung unang labas, sulit din sa akin. Eh. So, I have a feeling that, you know, this is not just uh, an expensive toy. And I think, uh, pwede ka rin mag-stream with it, eh, no? I think um, yes, they'll have some know. firmware so you can use it to stream instead of using your camera on your phone. Um, you will stream through your phone but using this as a, as as the camera. So, okay siya. <laughs> okay. Sobrang okay. Yun, ang galing, okay. ang galing nakatawa. I mean, uh, sila DJI really pioneered the the whole small camera gimbal, di ba? With, they started off with the phantom drones and stuff like that. And, you know, all of a sudden, they're making these um, uh, ultra-portable cameras. Na... Grabe! Nagtatravel ako, yung packet lang dala ko. Kaysa, kaysa dala ko yung malaking camera ko, di Osmo packet lang. <laughs> I was I was telling telling my dad uh, some weeks ago uh, when I was a kid we went to the states and I was eight. He brought along his video camera. Alam mo yung Sony na that big thing. Tapos yung recorder wasn't even part of it yet. Nakasabit sa shoulder mo. It was a, an actual VCR. <laughs> Lucky. Tapos he had. He had two NP1 batteries with one hour of life each. So every time we stopped, charge siya agad. Pag, <laughs> pag uh, we ate lunch at a restaurant, charge siya. Tapos yung mga, ano, pag nagkukuha siya, sakto, on, on, pa, 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 off. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos ngayon, ganyan na kalaki yung camera, di ba? Kalaga yung kukunin mo lang sa bulsa mo. Ayan, shoot na. <laughs> Tapos yeah. <may> ulit. <laughs> Tapos pag nalobat ka, may ano ka naman, may... Battery, ano pa nga ito? Uh, pa nga ito yung... Pwede mong isaksak sa power bank. Power bank, oh, yun. Kaya yeah, sobrang, so, it, sobrang galing nga ngayon eh. So, you know, there's no reason not to come up with some really good footage or something interesting yeah. when when you go on a trip. I mean, it's not only for, ano, di ba, yung mga, mga nagvi-video, nagpo-produce ng videos or creators. If you just want to come up with some really good memories, mm-hmm. di ba, just yeah. take it with you. Tulad yan, pagka uh, may may out of town ng family so uh, may memories din yun so, so parang optional na lang din eh di upload mo sa YouTube <laughs> <laughs> di ba malayo ko hindi 
ako eh, up, ina-upload ko talaga sa YouTube kasi para, kunyari, masira yung hard drive. Masira yung, at least meron akong backup sa Yeah, YouTube. that's true. Tsaka ano, di ba? Who knows? Uh, always roll, always keep it rolling because if you're on a family vacation, somebody's bound to do something stupid that might go viral. <laughs> <right, diba? laughs> <laughs> ay, ay, Tito Patrick, seryosa Kumusta Patrick? <laughs> oh, wala, wala audio si Patrick audio si Patrick is muted Ayan Okay lang, okay lang <laughs> Mukhang napansin ko may pusang dumadaan sa likod mo <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pusang ang gagala <laughs> So yeah, ayun Um, madami tayong ano, guys, wag niyo kalimutang mag-like, mag-subscribe at i-share yung aming mga video. Yung aming mga video ay nasa YouTube at Facebook. Na makikita niyo yung mga past ano namin. Ito na yung 6 episode namin. 6 so. episodes already and you know what, uh, if you have any suggestions as to what you want us to discuss, um, if there's like a particular Uh, something, whether it's a gadget or, or a restaurant or a car or a brand that you want us to look into, um, let us know because uh, we can get in touch with the, the brand and the manufacturer here and talk about uh, what it is you're curious about. Or we can shoot them a question and then uh, we'll answer your question here live nice. on uh, Verified Titos. Yeah. So, ayun. Wow. Wow. And... Natapos na naman. Magpasa na naman tayo sa isang oras. Six, six, Daldal mo kasi. <laughs> <laughs> Nakainom mo ang Pepsi. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, it was fun. Uh, it's always great fun um, jamming with our friends from Honda, Attorney Louie, and the rest of the PR team. Uh, sila Che, sila Laika, and Colleen, and everyone else behind the scenes. Um, and of course, uh, shout out to uh, Al Bato, the guy who uh, delivers cars and... Uh, Oh. See, Boss Fabi, who's uh, all the way in uh, Santa Rosa. I don't know if he's watching this. We should make him watch this. So there you go. Um, all new uh, Honda City. Uh, the new CRV. Uh, check it out on their website, their virtual showroom, if you're curious about it. Of course, there are a lot of videos already, I'm, I'm sure, uh, on the web. But yeah, do check out their website. Uh, we'll be back next week. See, si Dustin, Dustin of uh, Ecooter. Um, do check out their Facebook page. Um, and uh, if you're in the area, they're right across ADB along EDSA on the southbound lane. Uh, check out their scooters. You know, if you're looking for a new way to get around, let's say um, you want to be a little more earth friendly or you don't want to get caught in traffic and you're thinking about two wheels, maybe electric two wheels is good. Kung uh, medyo, uh, you want something different, it's quiet, it's earth friendly. Um, you plug it in when you get home. Galing. Or tumatakas ka sa bahay. <laughs> <laughs> Walang maririg na. Wala, <laughs> wala talaga. So, you know, all these, all these new technologies. <laughs> si Rob, may plano tumakas na bahay. <laughs> si Rob, katakas ng bahay yan para pumukta. Pumunta ng Makdo sa tabi ng Ever. <laughs> Tatakas ng pagkain eh. Basta pag pumunta ka doon, ano, uh, uh, spicy muck nuggets ako at saka strawberry milkshake ha, bro. <laughs> Try na natin sa marilaki yung e-cooter. No? <laughs> kaya yun, kaya yun. So, yun. All right. Uh, so uh, another episode of uh, Verified Tito's PH. Uh, again, uh, like and subscribe our YouTube our YouTube channel, and of course um, share our. You know, would like, appreciate if you share our videos on Facebook. That would be really really awesome, guys. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, next. Sali na kayo sa discussion namin lagi and yun, pag uh, gusto nyo makita yung mga past videos namin nasa YouTube and Facebook naman siya pero uh, pag sa YouTube mas direkta siya, makikita nyo lahat ng video and yun, pwede sa TV yun. Uh, uh, please like, subscribe and share yun yun Madyan lahat ako ba? Patulang na Pati yung Instagram natin, nandiyan. Astig. Astig. So, yun. 
All right. So uh, thanks so much for joining us this Saturday night. We'll see you again next week. Same time, same channel.